What's up guys, it's Sergey from Crystal Freediving and today we're going to talk how this can help you to sort it out your equalization problem if you have them or how it can make your equalization is much easier. But before that, before we start, if you're new to my channel, please consider the idea to subscribe it. Uh, here on a weekly basis I'm sharing some freediving information about different subjects like freediving physiology or freediving training tips or freediving equalization and sometimes I do some freediving products review so if you are if you are a freediver consider to a, the idea to subscribe to it and if you already done it thank you very much it means a lot for me I really appreciate your attention I really appreciate your time that you're watching my videos thank you okay uh, how this can help if you haven't seen my previous video about freediving equalization uh, find the link to this video in the description below uh, in this video I was explaining in the details uh, how equalization works so how f your friends it works and then um, I told you guys that uh, there are a couple of small muscles in our in a human body which we need to control to be able to do a good equalization and this is a uh, soft palate control and this is also uh, glottis control and this can help a little bit again this is a uh, not uh, only one tool which you can use for your uh, dry training equalization uh, but it's one of them and normally if you do a let's say party advanced free diver course or party master free diver course this is a where you learn how to use this exercise by the way if you're interested to find out more information about our courses which really which we are doing here in crystal then you can find also in the description below okay balloon exercise there are three basic exercises which I want to show you today uh, probably you know them maybe uh, at the end you will find how you can make this exercise a little bit more uh, complicated a little bit more advanced okay basic way how to do it so I'm gonna inflate the balloon this is the first of all okay balloon is full now I'm gonna bring it to my mouth and then I'm gonna keep my glottis closed and my soft palate is open and then if I bring the balloon to my mouth the air is freely come out through my nose like this air come out through my nose okay so this is the first exercise which you want to practice if it doesn't work normally there is a two problems which can uh, stop you to doing this exercise first it doesn't have a glottis control in this case when you bring the balloon to your mouth the air just going back to your lungs so you're feeling that oh even you see like your lungs are like getting better so you basically just inhale back this air from the balloons so if you have this then it means that your glottis control is not really good the second your glottis control is good so you're keeping it closed uh, the air is not going back to the balloons but the air is not also uh, going outside from your nose so this is a soft palate problem it's a little bit more difficult to sort it out but we're gonna do it in the near future right okay if you are able to do this exercise then uh, there is a second exercise so again you inflate the balloon you bring it to your mouth you're keeping your glottis closed but now um, you're gonna pinch your nose and as soon as you release your fingers then the air coming out as soon as you pinch it again the air stay in the balloon okay this is the second exercise if you if you can do this exercise you can make and you should make it uh, exercise a little bit more difficult you can try to do this exercise as long as you can so it's obviously breath hold exercise so you can do a little bit relaxation breathing uh, then you hold your breath and then do this exercise as long as you can so one minute or maybe two minutes uh, better than 10 seconds why this is going to be uh, even more helpful because it's going to help you to keep your glottis closed over a longer period of time and this is obviously beneficial right so you're gonna have more glottis control for this exercise and then the third exercise uh, more or less the same but now I'm gonna control uh, come out uh, 
control the air which is coming out from my nose without my fingers. So this is exercise number three. What if you already can do this exercise and you want to make it a little bit more harder, a little bit more challenge? Then you can do all of all this, all three exercises after full exhale. So first of all, of course, you need to inflate the balloon. Okay, now full exhale. and the air come out through your nose. Second exercise. And then the third exercise. Okay, this is a three exercise with a balloon. So if you want to make it harder, do it after full exhale and do it as long as you can. Okay, then you're gonna learn how to control this glottis and soft palate even when you are not in a comfortable situation. But because let's say if you're holding your breath just a few, few seconds after full inhale, of course you are comfortable and it's, of course it's much more easy to uh, do this control for your glottis and for the soft palate. But don't forget that when you start diving in the water, then you're gonna be uncomfortable and you want to learn how to doing this exercise when you're uncomfortable okay guys but what if it's not that easy to do this exercise even the first one let's say you try it uh, right this moment and then the air is not going anywhere so let's say the most typical the air is not going back to your lungs and the air is not coming through your nose so this is a soft palate problem and I'm gonna make a long video about how here in Crystal we're working uh, for the soft palate issue with our beginner students uh, and it, we're gonna include few exercises with the balloons as well uh, to sort it out this problem so keep watching my videos and then one of the video is gonna be about this subject okay guys this is it this was a video how balloon can help you to sort it out your equalization problem how it can help you to make your equalization better hopefully it was a useful video for you hopefully you found something new and useful for you if you did then uh, don't forget to put the like button i really really appreciate it and see you next time